Hi, Fred Patton here. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Palm Developer Portal. And today we're going to walk through a simple accelerometer sample. The accelerometer is one of the services available to you under WebOS, and this is going to be a really simple uh, demonstration of how to use this service in an application. We're going to have a, a simple scene which will show raw accelerometer data, and we will pull for the accelerometer data and display it on the screen. So here you can see I'm using Eclipse, and I have a sample called uh, ACC sample. I just did a, uh, I created a new application and one scene, which we call main. The, the uh, stage assistant has the standard, this controller push scene main, nothing terribly complicated about it. And then we have a single main scene. And in this scene, I have spaces to put the accelerometer raw X, Y, and Z uh, data right here. Uh, have a, a header at the at the uh, top here. That's the the div which encloses all of this. So my screen will have a have a nice header, and I've given the um, given the header a title accelerometer test. We're also pulling the position. Uh, information from the accelerometer. Position is whether the phone is lying flat on its back, upright, on its side, something like that. And then we're pulling raw pull, roll and pitch data from the accelerometer as well. So pretty straightforward. Uh, I've given them, given these divs uh, easy to uh, easy to remember names because I hate going back and forth between the, the assistant and the scene trying to remember what I called anything. So let's go and have a look at the main assistant now. The, we'll skip down to the setup section here. The first thing we do is we set, uh, we, we look at the window orientation and we set it to free. This gives us the uh, ability to change the orientation just by rotating the device. Notice I've also set up fast accelerometer true here as a, as a set window property. That's right here. And that will allow us to sample the accelerometer at 30 cycles per second instead of the usual four. And we're going to handle the and or, an orientation change. We'll have a we have a, a, a function up here for handling orientation right there. We also have one for handling uh, acceleration events. That's right here. So we set up to uh, we, we bind our event listener. And notice we say bind as event listener as opposed to saying just bind. When we use bind as event listener, that ensures that the event will get passed to the, uh, to the function that we're calling. And then I set up the listener. Uh, I set us up to listen. Uh, we're, we're in the, we are looking at the document. And we, we're looking for orientation change as, our, uh, as the event we're listening to. And when that happens, then we call uh, this handle orientation, which is which is defined up above, for acceleration events, we do the same thing. This dot handle acceleration, we bind it to as as an event listener, and then we set up uh, a listen. Now, I always get in the habit of of setting up a stop listening whenever I set up a listen. In this case, we're setting up our listen in the setup function. We could also set it up in the activate function. Uh, in this case, I've chosen setup. Uh, for no other reason that it's convenient. Uh, when you set up, when you do your uh, listen setup in the setup function, and I prefer to do stop listening in the cleanup function. If you set up your listening in the activate uh, function, then you want to stop listening in the deactivate function. That can save you a little bit of memory because uh, the deactivate happens when the application is reduced to a card, so at that point it'll, it'll stop polling or stop listening for the event. Now let's take a quick look at the at how we handle acceleration and handle orientation. Handle acceleration is uh, very straightforward. We look at the uh, we look at the event. We we are past the event data because we bound it as an event listener, and then we take each field. In this case, uh, this controller get accx. That's our uh, x raw date and uh, raw data, and we just update it. And we say, okay, we're going to call it uh, x equals and then the event Excel X, which the Excel X is uh, one of the properties of, uh, of event. And then we do the same thing for Y and Z. For handling orientation, uh, the orientation comes as a, as a, a number, 0, 1, 2, 3, or 5, 4. Uh, and I don't really want to display 
a number, I'd rather display what the number means. So I've set up this variable position, which is just an array that describes what each of those positions are, flat, flat face up, flat face down, upright, upside down, etc. The handle orientation uh, uh, event will give us not only the position, but it will also give us roll and pitch. So here we are setting up uh, the position. We, we uh, get the position from our HTML and we update uh, that div to current orientation is, and then we give it uh, a position, note that's uh, this guy here, with at an index of event.position, and that makes sure that we get a nice text display which says what the position of the uh, device is. Then we just display raw roll and pitch data right here. And that's all there is to this, to this uh, demo. Let's take a look at it running. We'll go over here to ACC sample and we'll say uh, run as mojo application and it's going to show up on my device. You can see the, uh, the orientation being changed as we flip the device around and you can see roll and pitch changing as well. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this screencast. Thanks for watching.